Today's formulation stars rich shea butter and soothing oat oil, and in a rather fun twist, it is both a gentle facial cleanser and a beautiful hand and body lotion. Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are whipping up a decadent batch of oat shea cleansing cream. This formulation is sponsored by Brambleberry as part of their brand new skincare collection launch, so a big thank you to them. Brambleberry's new skincare collection includes over 30 brand new ingredients for making skincare products with, including a selection of water-soluble extracts and natural fragrance oils. Because this formulation is sponsored by Brambleberry, there isn't a partner blog post over on humblebeeandme.com. Instead, you will find the full written formulation and all the ingredients over on the Brambleberry website. I'll link to it in the description box below. And as always, if you are looking for more information about any of the individual ingredients, like what they do or what you might be able to use instead, please look them up in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. What is a cleansing cream? A cleansing cream is similar to a cold cream. It's a two-in-one emulsified product that can be used both to cleanse the skin and to moisturize it. The oil in water emulsifier that brings the oil and water together in the formulation to create an emulsion is also also what allows it to function as a cleanser and really rinse off the skin beautifully. Another way to think about a cleansing cream is that it's kind of like a cleansing balm that has already had water added to it. There's nothing super special about this formulation that makes it a cleanser. You could really use any oil in water emulsion to cleanse with, I just recommend sticking to formulations that feature less expensive ingredients. So please don't use your beautiful hyaluronic acid and prickly pear seed oil cream to wash your face with. To make this cream, we will start with the heated water phase ingredients. You'll need 184.5 grams of distilled water, 15 grams of moisturizing vegetable glycerin, nine grams of sodium lactate, which is a wonderful humectant, and 24 grams of soothing aloe vera concentrate. Up next, our heated oil phase, which also features four ingredients. You'll need 13.5 grams of emulsifying wax NF, which is our emulsifier. Emulsifying wax NF is a super versatile, non-ionic emulsifying wax. And if you would like to learn more about it, I recently shared an ingredient deep dive into this ingredient. So make sure you check that out. Our first emollient is 15 grams of rich skin soothing oat oil. I love the warm color and the soft oaty note that this oil brings to the formulation. Our second emollient is 18 grams of creamy skin loving shea butter. I've used refined shea butter here but you could definitely use unrefined shea butter if that's what you have. And the last ingredient in our heated oil phase is three grams of colloidal oatmeal. Colloidal oatmeal is water soluble so it will not dissolve or melt into the heated oil phase and that is exactly why I am putting it in the heated oil phase. If you put it in the heated water phase, it kind of cooks up into a gloppy porridge, which isn't really nice to work with. So I like to put it in the oil phase where it just kind of stays chill and non-gloppy. And then once we combine the phases, it incorporates beautifully. Combine the ingredients for the heated oil phase and the heated water phase in two separate heat resistant glass measuring cups or beakers. Make sure you can fit the head of your immersion blender into whichever beaker you put the oil phase into. Before we heat our two heated phases, you're going to need to weigh the water phase. So just pop that on the scale and write that weight down. And this will allow us to replace any water lost to evaporation during heating. Use a water bath to heat both phases. Simply pour about an inch or three centimeters of water into the bottom of a wide flat bottom pan that can hold both of your beakers and then put both of your beakers into that pan with the water in it. Turn the heat to low to medium low to heat everything through. You want the water to be steaming hot, but you don't want it to be simmering or boiling and tossing your beakers around. After 20 to 30 minutes, the emulsifying wax NF and shea butter will have melted and both of your phases will be about the same temperature and so we can proceed. Remove your beakers from the water bath and then pop the water phase back on the scale and use a bit of preheated distilled water to top it back up to that number we wrote down earlier. Pour the water phase into the oil phase and stir to combine. With this emulsifier, it doesn't matter which phase is poured into which, I find that the water phase tends to pour a little bit more nicely than the oil phase, so I prefer to pour the water phase into the oil phase. If you'd like to learn more about this, I recently did a video about six lotion myths you should stop believing, so make sure you check that out. Grab your immersion blender and blend the mixture for about a minute. You're going to need to start with a few short pulses before working up to a full blend so that you don't accidentally spray hot liquidy lotion everywhere. After about a minute of blending, switch to hand stirring. You'll need to stir the emulsion pretty diligently until it has cooled 
down and gain some viscosity. If you don't do this, the emulsion can split. How long this will take will depend a lot on your batch size. For this 300 gram batch size, it took about 20 to 25 minutes. But for the smaller batches I was making as part of my development work, which were 100 grams, it was about half that time. If you want to speed this process up, you can pop the beaker into an ice bath and stir it in there. Once the emulsion has gained some lovely viscosity and the outside of your beaker is cool to the touch, we are ready to incorporate our preservative. Weigh three grams of Germaben 2 into a small dish or beaker. The manufacturer of Germaben 2, Ashland, recommends adding the preservative thoroughly before adding any fragrance, and that is why we are adding it now on its own. If you'd like to use a different preservative, I have a whole FAQ on that as well, so make sure you check that out over at humblebeeandme.com FAQ. Add a dollop of the cleansing cream to the dish or beaker containing the preservative, whisk to combine, and then scrape that preservative lotion mixture back into the parent batch and stir to combine really, really thoroughly. With the preservative incorporated, it's time to get the rest of the cool down phase into our formulation and wrap this up. Grab a second small dish and weigh six grams of each oat extract and calendula extract into it. These are both oil-based extracts that boost the skin soothing benefits of this formulation. Up next, you'll need one and a half grams of vitamin E, which is a potent antioxidant. This ingredient helps extend the shelf life of our formulation by delaying the onset of rancidity. And lastly, one and a half grams of natural vanilla and tonka fragrance oil scents this formulation. This fragrance oil is part of Brambleberry's new line of natural fragrance oils, and I chose this particular one because I thought it's warm, vanilla-y scent paired really beautifully with nutty oat oil and creamy shea butter. Natural fragrance oils are really neat. They kind of sound like an oxymoron, but they're made by blending naturally occurring fragrance chemicals like linalool, limonene, benzyl alcohol, and camphor to create scents that don't occur in the world of essential oils. Once you've got the extracts, vitamin E, and fragrance in your small dish, go ahead and add another dollopy blob of the big batch of cleansing cream to that dish. Give it a whisk to combine and then scrape it back into the parent batch and stir, stir, stir. That's it for the making. Now we're ready to package this up. For packaging, I am using these really lovely two ounce frosted glass jars from Brambleberry. If you're like me and you like to fill your jars like absolutely to the brim, you'll just need four of these jars. But if you're perhaps a bit more subdued and like some headspace in your jar, you'll need five. I chose to pipe this cleansing cream into the jars using a zip top bag with a snipped off corner. You can pour it, but it's a pretty thick cream, and between the thickness of the cream and the relatively small opening of the jars, that can get a bit tricky. Once the jars are full, cap them and you are done. This formulation should easily last a year or two if kept relatively cool and dry throughout its life. To use this formulation as a cream, simply spread it over some skin that could use a bit of extra moisturizing love. To use this formulation as a cleanser, simply work up a dollop between your palms with a bit of water, massage it into dry skin, and wipe clean with a damp cloth. You can find all of the ingredients in the full written formulation on the Brambleberry website linked in the description box below this video. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching, a big thank you to Brambleberry for sponsoring this video. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!